All right, guys. Well, today we have to do a interior in my buddy's 2018 RS Limited Edition. Uh, he just wants to get, I guess, maybe somebody smoked in it before, so he wants to get the smoke smell out. So we're going to do a deep cleaning interior uh, cleanse on it, basically. And uh, it's kind of complicated. It's a lot of work to get the smoke smell out, but hopefully we can accomplish that and make him happy. So check it out. All right guys, so the first thing I'm doing here is basically blowing out all the debris off panels, upper panels, lower panels, get all the dust off. I'm using the Metro back and blow. So this is a vacuum and a blowing machine. All right, now I've flipped the cord to the other side of the machine and it turns into a vacuum. So I'm just gonna vacuum up all the floors, the seats. I'm also gonna vacuum the ceiling. Even though it is daytime, it's darkened inside this car and I don't have a light bar. So I'm using this headlight, very helpful. You can get them at your local hardware store or your hunting store. I highly suggest you get some type of lighting so you can see what you're doing. The reason I'm vacuuming the ceiling is because if there was somebody smoking, they most likely were smoking while they were driving and the ashes fly all over. So they probably get embedded into the ceiling. So I need to clean everything really good. Now we're starting with the steam. I'm using the VX5000. I'm using the triangle head. It's basically a, a brush on a triangle platform and I wrap two towels around it it has some clips on there that you can hook the towels to. That way it doesn't oversaturate the headliner. Um, it keeps the heat in because I want to kill these germs and bacteria from the smoke. If you don't get rid of that smoke bacteria, then it's going to stay there. Now here's a look at the towels from rubbing on the headliner. You wouldn't believe what kind of dirt and filth gets into a headliner. That dark line right there was just only from the headliner. I keep flipping the towels and putting new towels on there. And these were fresh before I started on the headliner. Here I'm gonna use two different solutions. I'm gonna use Next Set All Purpose Cleaner and I'm gonna use Extreme Solutions Biozyme. Now I like these two cleaners you could probably combine them into one buck into one sprayer, but I just have them already separated, so I used them that way. Um, they seem to break up, kill germs and bacteria. They, they do a lot of different things, so that's why I use both of them as a pre-treat. Then I steam over them, and I'm just trying to clean up as much of that smoke bacteria as I can.
Another reason I like wrapping the towels around the triangle head is the heat stays in better. As you can see, it holds in 211 degrees of heat very nicely. Um, sure, it'll drop down to about 170 degrees after a couple seconds once I take move the towel around on the steamer, but it's good enough to get in there, break things down, and then I can feel better about the cleaning process and that it's working. The seats inside this vehicle are a combination of leather and Alcantara. Basically, they're pretty delicate where the Alcantara is, so I move this real fast, spray it down, move it real fast so the steam doesn't hurt the fibers, and it cleans them. Pretty good, I just wipe it down afterward with a new clean microfiber towel, and that's it, they're done. forget to get all the seat belts, the harnesses, the clickers, the buckles. Just steam everything guys. You need to get the smoke out. You need to steam and clean every surface in the vehicle. Sorry about the angle, it's hard to shoot. But basically what I'm doing is pre-treating with both solutions, I'm steaming, and then I'll use an extractor. I use the extractor on the carpets because they're longer fibers. I can suck out the liquid a lot better. The carpet is also a lot dirtier than what the seats were. So it's a good application process. vehicle has no floor mats so every time they step inside here it goes right into the carpet there's no savior these have to be cleaned really well and the smoke I'm sure just gets right into the fibers here as well all right now we're moving on to the door panels we're using a mixed solution of American Detailer Garage F-bomb and wipe out, maybe about an ounce to two ounces of each, and about 25 ounces of water, give or take. I forget exactly, but it's pretty close. Now we're just using a soft bristle brush to get into all the crevices, and we're switching over after that to the Monster Mitt by Clear Finish. And this mitt is used for cleaning just about anything. It's great on leather, vinyls, plastics. Then we'll bring on the steam, wash everything down, and we'll wipe it all off with a dry, clean towel, 
and the doors are nice and clean at that point. changed out the spray tip on the steamer to the three prong or three hold version. I like the way it shoots steam in three different directions. It's not overpowering like the single hole. So that's my choice when I start doing interiors a lot. If you notice here, I have a towel stuck where all the gauge cluster is and that's so I don't get a bunch of residue uh, spray solution or steam inside the gauge cluster. I don't want any um, fogging or anything dripping back there. It would be a nightmare to get it out. And that's just something that's beneficial. Put a towel in there and clean that by hand later. Don't spray anything inside those gauges. You know, if it's a big surface area, you can spray it with the solution, but in these little delicate areas with all the buttons and stuff, I like to spray the tip of the bristle brush and then go and clean all the little areas that way. It just gives me more control over the spray and it doesn't drip all behind the buttons. I mean, I don't want to pay for new electrical systems. This mitt here is by Clear Finish. It's got a felt side and a towel side. Basically, you put your hand inside it, you can wrap it around all kinds of curves, so it's very versatile. You can wash it afterward, clean it up. I've gotten about 15 uses so far out of it, and I plan to get another 15, 20 more uses out of it. It's an excellent product. It's called a Monster Mitt by Clear Finish Products. You can find it at clearfinish.net, Carl Gamba style. Here I'm hooking up the dials. They were a little scratched up from the previous owner and I'm just giving them a nice little polish up. Try to clean it up a little bit. You know, go the extra mile above and beyond. With the interior cleaned and dry, it's time for the ozone. You don't wanna do this with the wet interior, so make sure it's dry. I'm gonna set it for about two hours. I run the wire through the window. I put some towels in the window to clog up any seepage. Also, I run the wire along the towel so it doesn't hit the paint. It's very important. After the ozone treatment, air out the vehicle. I'm using 303 Fabric Guard all over the carpets now. Just spray it all over liberally. Now you can let it sit there like that. You could brush it in, or I just use a towel to wipe it in and let it dry. Now we're gonna use Angel Wax Angel. This is a restore. Basically it puts a nice coating of a good matte 
sheen or look onto the vehicle just darkens everything up it feels really good it's not greasy i like this product a lot it's high quality Now it's time for Tax Systems Refresh. This is their deodorizer. I spray it underneath the seats, turn the air on, let the air run, spray it under the dash. Just get this all in the system there. From there, we're moving on to Monofoil X. This is the concentrated formula. This stuff is antimicrobial. It's a preventative solution for germs, bacteria, viruses. I'm not saying it kills Corona, but it does work against COVID-2 viruses, SARS, and if you get the X, you can dilute it four times. And also, this lasts 30 days on anything you put it on. So I put it on all the areas that people touch inside the vehicle, all the handles, knobs, everywhere. This stuff works really good. Now that the inside's done, I went ahead and gave my boy a waterless wash for his car. Just clean it up, get the dust off it. I don't want the inside clean and the outside look dusty. So when I give it to him, it's got all that shine and gloss, not only on the outside, but the inside is also clean. So it's the full package. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the subscribe and like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments below. You guys have a great day. Stay safe out there.